And then I had all sorts of issues of what kind of singer are you, and is to always say, well, I'm a good singer. <laughs> and, and they said, well, what kind of music do you sing? I said, well, good music. <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm sure some of you know this periphery, I might be on the periphery of the music business, and that does not work in the music business. So after many years of saying all this stuff, I, I kind of, uh, once I figured out what folk music was, which to me is a song that, you know, that can live through its own time, and then still be as popular 10, 15, 100, 200, 300 years later, that's a folk song. So every song has the capacity to be a folk song, if it's that good and, and, and everybody gets it into their head. The next song was a song, and I heard this the last time I played in Sligo, um, it's credited to W.B. Yeats, and he did write it. But, and I'd always wondered where he got the idea from, and then some old, you know, some lad from Sligo told me the last time that I was over there that, oh, you know, uh, uh, he went to the fair at Ballon Show and he met this old lady, and she had only a bit of it, but he heard it, and then he went back and wrote the song. So that's all I can tell him. And, um, and again, you know, if you need for a song of regret in the soundtrack of your life, I couldn't tell you one that is more poetic and more lovely. It's called the Sally Gardens. And as I said, I recorded this both after I'd gotten over not singing Irish songs and getting over being a folk singer, and I went to Ireland and did a record. And this is on this Thank you. 